Hey guys, it's Truman from 4Runner Lifestyle. Today we're gonna to be installing the Cali Raised Interior Rear Molly Panels. Now these come in either a kit of just passenger side, or you can do the driver side, or you can do both. If you want one of these, just go hit the link in the description below where you can buy one of those kits on our website. So we're gonna bring you in and show you what's specific about these Cali Raised Interior Rear Molly Panels show you what you might like about these ones and also what comes with the kit. All right, opening up a box, you see right off the bat, this box right here, which comes with all of the mounting brackets and hardware that we're gonna need for the install today. I'm gonna set those aside while we show you what else comes in the kit. So here's the passenger side rear molly panel. This is what they look like. They got pre-threaded holes right here makes drilling uh, screwing in very easy you won't need to do any drilling and then this is the passenger side and then the driver side is included as well in this kit today we'll just be installing the passenger side for you today all right so again here is the passenger side one the driver side is obviously just gonna be the opposite of this one how you know it's the passenger side is when these threaded holes are at the top and then the point is to the left the way this is gonna go in is just like this but into the cabin like this. This point is going to match up with the window as well, fairly simple, and we'll show you how to line up the brackets as well. Okay, once we have everything for the passenger side pulled out of the box, we're gonna go ahead and install all the brackets on them. All you need is a 10 millimeter socket and then a four millimeter Allen wrench, so it's super easy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start by installing this rear extension bracket. This is the passenger side one when you know that this bend right here when laid flat, this small extension is raised up and this pointy is to the right. This has a nice bottle opener on that as well, so that's super nice. We're gonna go ahead and install this by grabbing our hardware kit from the passenger side. We just went ahead and grabbed two of the short bolts and two washers. They make it super easy with these threads and so you just grab this and throw it behind the larger piece and then send the threads through or the bolts through with the washers on them. Okay, so this is the top hook and the top mounting point for the molly panels. This is super easily removed. You just go ahead and pull down on this clip and remove it with the previously stated 10 millimeter. And then we're gonna wanna keep this bolt and washer because we're gonna use it to reinstall the panel. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and remove this cover piece real quick and so we can install the spacer. I'm just gonna use any flat item like a flathead screwdriver or a knife. Just gonna pop that right off, make it a lot easier for us. Okay, so with this bolt removed, we're gonna go ahead and install the molly panel itself. Now that it's all put together, I'm just gonna go ahead and line it back up with the hole that we removed the bolt with. I'm just gonna screw it back in. Okay, to install this lower portion right here, you're just gonna need to grab these three things, the silver spacer, this extended bolt, and then this washer right here. Easiest way is just to put the washer on the bolt, just like that, and then in through this skinny sliding bolt area right here, you're gonna line the spacer behind, sand the through, screw through, and then screw it into the spot right here.
Okay, so this last mounting port, we're just gonna do the same thing that we did on this side. We're just gonna go ahead and take the spacer and put it behind of this sliding skinny screw hole right here. Take our extended bolt and washer, stick it through there, and then bolt it in. Okay, so that's the entire install. It was actually super easy. I was impressed how easy they made it for installing. Um, and it feels very solid in here as well. You can give it a shake around. It feels very mounted to the car. It uses a lot of very solid mounting points. I was super impressed. You can mount a lot of products that we also have on our 4 lifestylecom website. You can go check those out. We mount a bunch of stuff to these, and so we really like them when we're going on trails. So if you want one of these products, just go ahead and click the link in the description below. We thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like more videos like this, give us tips in the comments on what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.